Right, hi there, so here's the ANET A2 and today I'm going to be doing the MOSFET upgrade. Um, I shall put a link in the description to this just in case anybody's interested. Yep, so let's get on with it. Right, okay, so I disconnected the heat bed wires from the uh, main board. Uh, now the, I'm just going to use this piece of cable here. This is a piece of uh, low oxygen audio cable, so it should uh, improve the acoustics of the uh, 3D printer. Uh, I'm just going to put some of these um, crimps on because it just makes it easier to connect to the uh, MOSFET and onto the board, main board with the screw terminals. We're using the main MOSFET which is built into the board to switch the larger one. So these just control that. Uh, there's no polarity here. Okay, so I thought I'd better answer this question because I know people comment down in the comment section asking which terminal went where on the from the uh, heat bed on the main board to the um, MOSFET on the little board here. So it, at this at this orientation, the left-hand terminal went to the left hand terminal on the main board and the right hand went to the right hand terminal so now you know okay so we're going to take the heat bed, um, bed terminals <coughs> uh, now I've traced the tracks on the bottom here and it turns out that this is positive and this is negative although it shouldn't really actually matter there's no polarity marked on these two terminals but it's only a heat bed so the least what will happen is the uh, LED lights won't light on the bottom but I'm going to go with putting them around the colours around the right way and then I'm just going to put my uh, two terminals which are connected up to the power supply unit um, obviously I'm not using red and black cable but that would be the better idea then it makes it easier to keep track obviously but, uh, I've got a little blue line on there so I'm going to use that as negative negative. and this is a pretty thick gauge cable so it's plenty for uh, the heat bed anyway so there we go we've got that connected up so that means we are ready to go Right, okay, so uh, let's test it and switch it on. Uh, no bang, so that's a good sign. Displays on. And there's a little red light on the MOSFET there. So if I go into the settings and prepare preheat PLA, that'll, yep, that's working. A little blue light has just come on to show that it's heating up the uh, bed. And also the light is on on the underside of the heat bed, showing us that it's heating up. So I don't know if it's getting hotter any faster than it was. It's going to heat up to 50 degrees Celsius it says. So I'll just let it heat up to 50. <coughs> See how long it takes. So at least now I don't have to actually worry about the uh, connectors on the main board melting. Uh, we're only using the uh, hot end MOSFET now, which is drawing around about 4 amps. So it's not, the main board has not got as much load on it now anyway, so that's a good thing. Uh, the next thing to, which I'll just uh, upgrade, is the actual uh, wires that are going to the hotbed. Because these are quite thin gauge and you can feel them, they, get, they do get quite warm. So I'm probably going to take this connector off which is on here and then just solder two wires either side. Okay, so take a look at this. 
I'm up to 92 degrees Celsius on the bed now. Uh, before, to get up to 66 degrees, it would take around about uh, 6 to 10 minutes, depending obviously on the ambient temperature. And I couldn't really get uh, above 66 without having to wait an excessively long time. So this has took around about 10 minutes to get up to 92 degrees Celsius. Also the heat sink on the MOSFET, it's warm. So it's not too bad. So yeah, we're up to 92 degrees. That's pretty toasty. So now all I've got to do is make a mount up to fit this uh, MOSFET on. So that's what I'll be doing next. So yeah, I'll put a link in the description to the MOSFET. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please uh, comment, give this thing, video a uh, thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, yeah, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.